right, walk-ons, what's going on? It's Sam Stidwell, the walk-on coach. And today, the video is going to be about quitting. Yes, it's going to be about quitting. This is not going to be a rah-rah, never give up, walk-ons type of video. Um, and this is going to apply to everybody. It's going to be about when to quit. Because there is a time when the best decision is to move on. And people have to realize that and they don't talk about that, but I'm going to help you through my experience. I'm going to help you make that decision if you need to make that decision. Now, the first thing I need you to do is subscribe and we're going to get to this nitty gritty. Man, some of the information that I share about my experience is embarrassing to me. I don't really like to share it, but I do it because I think it's going to help y'all. Um, for me, man, when I quit, I was praying. I was praying for years. You know what I'm saying? Like praying, trying to search for the right answer, man. It was hard. It was so hard to make that decision. And that's why I'm like, okay, maybe I can share this information and maybe y'all can not waste so much time and, and pain and frustration on your decision. You can just make that move. So I'm going to do the best I can to communicate what I had to do to make that decision. And see, the background is when you grow up playing football for so long, man, you start to rely on football. That's your purpose. That's your, that's where you find your importance, your, your fun, your, man, that's where you feel the best about yourself. So it's hard to, to even contemplate quitting that because you need it. So I understand that's why it's so hard. I understand I've been through it. And hopefully you don't have to do this. But if you do, here's some information for you. So for me, after three years of putting in so much work and extra work that I was always that extra guy, man, after three years of, of doing extra lifts, doing extra meals, everything, man. I mean, I'm talking about leaving calculus three, calculus two early just to get to a meeting on time. I'm talking about leaving class in the middle of the day to go lift like we're supposed to and then staying extra after that lift and then rushing back to make it to class on time all sweaty and stuff and man it was always extra for me and after three years of doing that man i just had to give it up and i'm gonna tell you the three or so key points that i ultimately decided on man first thing is practice was dreadful that third year, man, I couldn't stand going to practice. I just feel like it was a waste of time, man. It was hurting my, I mean, my overall attitude was just out of here. Like, it was even affecting my actual ability to play. Like, the way I was playing my first year versus my third year, totally different because, man, my mental was so gone. I just, my body wasn't with it either. Secondly, man, because football was so important to me, it was really high on the priority list as far as my whole life. Um, man, when it wasn't going right, it was affecting my attitude everywhere. So my outside of football relationships, you know, those were being affected. Like, for instance, my girlfriend, she was, she was tired of hearing me complain, honestly, man, because, you know, just like people when they go to work and they have bad days or they hate their job they bring that frustration home man i was bringing that frustration to other relationships and it, it just wasn't helpful to my life at all so throughout the year i'm just honestly waiting to the end of the year to quit and but i'm still kind of going back and forth man i'm hoping for a little sign of hope something that i where that would cause me to make the decision to stay on the team so i go to the coach's office one day and I just so happened to walk past a dev chart that just happened to be out. And I was last on that dev chart behind two red shirt freshmen. Now I understand I was hurt during this time, but I was still playing. I was playing on a high ankle sprain and pretty decent at that. And for me to see that, as I'm trying to make this decision, man, it was kind of a sign of just, all right. Stop playing with it. Just go ahead and end. just go ahead and end the in the misery, man. So ultimately, man, I realized that me being on this team and chasing this dream is doing more damage than good. It's hurting me more than it's helping me 
they are more cons than pros. So what you can do is you can start a list, two columns, pros and cons, write down your pros and cons. And ultimately when the cons outweigh the pros, it's time to go. If those cons just fully outweigh the pros, if it's something you can fix and work on like one by one and you see hope for doing that, then hey, don't quit. But this is just a start that'll give you an idea of write down everything, emotional cons, how is it affecting you outside of football? Is it affecting relationships? Is it affecting your schoolwork or other dreams? Are you getting nothing out of it? For me, I realized I was putting in all this work and getting nothing out. And that's, that's a good sign when it's time to switch up, man. But thank y'all for watching. Hopefully this helps y'all out. Hopefully you can make a decision quicker and it doesn't stress you out. Um, once again, subscribe, drop a comment. If you have any questions, you can always hit me up on my Instagram or in the comments. My Instagram is uh, to be great. That's T O B E underscore great. Man, and also drop a comment, man, if y'all want to see some other content too. I know I mainly do information videos. I can start, you know, incorporating some working out tips, weightlifting, or field work tips, man. All this work that I done put in, I can share some of the information with you. So let me know what other content you might want to see. But I have to go. It is getting dark. Um, but thank y'all for watching the walk on coach. <laughs>